Hi, y'all, me again. Something else I forgot to tell y'all. It has been so, so nice these past couple of weeks to just kind of be trying to force myself to get out and do more and just enjoy more. But uh, when we went to Turner Falls, like, I just had such a great time. And, like, I told my husband, like, especially when we got on the zip line, that I was just going to take all that negativity and just everything, you know, that you constantly think about and worry about, you know, with tumors and cancer. And it's like my whole life is always that. And I just get so tired of it being that way. And so it's like even the days that I don't feel that great, which is every day, you know, and every day I have pain, and every day I hurt, but I just thought I'm still going to enjoy as much as I can, and I just felt like for a while there, I wasn't grabbing on to it all, so, I don't know why my husband up crap, <laughs> but, um, it's just been really nice, it's, it's kicked my butt, um, probably about Thursday of this week it started kicking in, but I've still held good through the weekend, so that's good, but, um, it's just been nice to get a break to where everything, you know, of course, granted, no crap, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, <laughs> I was supposed to say, everything is always doctor's appointments and medicines and treatment and oncologists and MRIs, and, but it's been really nice. I just wanted to share that with you guys, like even going to the movies today. It was just nice just to feel normal. So, like I said, it's it's hard to not constantly think about it, um, you know, especially where mine is, being that it's always pressing, like on pain central. It's always like I puked in the trash can beside my bed three times in the middle of the night. Um, and really don't even remember doing it. My husband was, uh, my husband was the one to tell me I got sick three times last night. But it's like all, you know, all that just becomes so normal, which sucks. And, and I know it's part of it. You can't have tumors and cancer and act like it doesn't exist. You just can't. But that doesn't mean that it has to consume me. And that doesn't mean that um, it has to be bigger than me. I'm going to be bigger than it. And don't anybody say anything about me not being big. <laughs> there may not be a lot of me, but I was speaking to that. My husband and I, the other night, we I just went and grabbed some chicken and went and took it out to the lake and sat on the, you know, opened the bed of the truck and sat out there and ate. And he was, the girl that was working the drive through the chicken place, he was like, gosh, she's so tiny. She's like your size. And I said, ask her how much she weighs. And I was like, guarantee you, she's not over 100 pounds. Well, that day, I, it was, oh, it's yesterday, I weighed 98.1. I said, I guarantee you, we probably weigh the same. And my husband was like, yeah. He was like, she's just rolling. I said, yeah. And well, I said, you know, you take away all of this. And then that's, you know, you're left with little teeny, teeny arms. And so I told him, of course, she was young. I mean, she couldn't have even been 18. And so I told him, I said, you know, you take away all this extra skin and, and you know, my legs. And that's, you know, even though I weigh 97, 98 pounds, I have 20 pounds of skin that hangs on my arms and my legs and my butt and my belly and stuff. It's just that yoga pants really suck it in. <laughs> so, but trust me, it's all there. That's all skin, people. That's not fat. So, and y'all see my arms. But, yeah, and so, you know, you, you take that 20 pounds of skin, and that's not good, you know. It's putting me at 60 pounds. But, um, anyway, so... Uh, 70 pounds, whatever, yeah. Um, anyway, so the little girl comes to the window, and my husband was like, oh, my wife wanted to ask you something. And I told him, I said, and she is, she's, I said, she's not much taller than me. I've always been 4'11", but now they say I'm like 4'8", 4'9", now that I'm getting older. And my mom was always 4'9", and she's like 4'7", 4'8", now, so I guess it's true. But I was always 4'11", Molly, my oldest, is 4'10", my mom's always been 4'9", and then Madison's like 5'7", <laughs> my, my baby, my young, my 25-year-old. 
Anyway, so my husband says, my wife wanted to ask you something. I said, how much do you weigh, if you don't mind? She said, oh, about 98 pounds. And he said, yeah, that's what she I said. That's me too. I weighed 98 this morning. And I said, and how tall are you? She said, 4'10". I said, yep. I said, I've always been 4'11", but they say I'm 4'9". But it's just, it was so funny just looking at her. She's just this teeny little thing. And I guess it makes me realize, God, I guess I really am small. But, but anyway, so, um, but yeah, I forgot to tell you all about that. But no, it was just fun going to the movies today. And just like I said, just forgetting about it. I don't know why I cry every time I talk about this stupid crap. But we've been movies and watched movies, of course, before since I've been, you know, diagnosed. But it's like I always just sit there and constantly think, you know, what is my body going to do? How am I going to feel? Am I going to make it through the movie without getting sick? Because my fever are going to come on. And today, I didn't. And, of course, it helped that the movie was great. It was so freaking funny. There were times where I was like, I cannot breathe. I'm laughing so hard. But So that did help. That and my Wonder Woman that my husband got me. So. He's my Wonder Woman. I always tell him he's my hero. Because he is. But anyway, so I'm going to get back to my Netflix. So I'll stop being a big crybaby. But I just wanted to share with you guys. It's nice to feel normal. But like I told you the other day, I mean, I'm, I'm, this is not normal. I've never been normal. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's nice to feel like just Carrie. Not Carrie with a tumor. Carrie with cancer. And that's why every time my doctor, she's like, well, how long should we go till the next MRI? I'm like, oh, God, no, please, 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 please. Don't take it now to every couple months, please. I Like, I enjoy being able to go four or five months. Like, this is nice. But anyway, so she's already warned me on the next one coming up. Oh, got one in a couple, I think two months, I've got another one. She said it's going to be the long one because she usually just does brain and C-spine, but she wants to get my entire spine to make sure that nothing is metastasized down the spine. So, Because that is the one great thing for the most part, if there is a great thing about brain and spine tumors, is that 99.99999% of the time, they never metastasize anywhere other than the brain and the spine, so where they already are. Um, so, you know, I already have that. Of course, but then again, they're, you know, look at everything else that I've been diagnosed with that was 999, 99.99999 should never happen to an adult. Ganglioma tumors, those are little kid tumors. Uh, in fact, an, a, one, an adult with a ganglioma in the brainstem, there is, there's not one medical case in the history books. N none, none. That's why I've agreed to always donate my brain to science, you know, when God calls me home because they need to figure this out. Um, then with my genetic mutation, the BRAP B600E, um, you know, which that takes benign tumors and turns them cancerous. Um, and that's, that is what puts cancer right back in the body. So, but, um, and that's what makes me have cancer cells and they're just kind of chilling, hanging out, which sucks. But even that, I mean, less than 2% of people will ever be diagnosed with that. Um, so it's just both the things that I have are completely unheard of and so rare that I'm basically a guinea pig. And everybody from, like, my neurologist um, to my um, neurosurgeons to my neuro-oncologist, they all are just like, what do we do? I, they, they don't know, and that's why we're just really having to wing it um, because th they've, They've all said, you know, this this is a case that most neurologists, neurosurgeons, neuro-oncologists, anybody in that field will never, ever see in their in their um, career. And because it's just that rare and it doesn't happen, so. Um, but, yeah, you know, go big or go home. If you're going to get something, get something good. So, I just keep looking at my little Wonder Woman doll down here and my Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. That's my girl, so. But, anyways, I'm going to go. So I don't like my sweet heavy. And maybe I'll make him some sandwiches. Sorry for being a ball bag, but I love you guys. Bye.